Hi everyone, um, this is a VR for Forest Preppers 250 sub giveaway. Uh, what well a mate, um, going really well, uh, love your channel. Um, yeah, can't wait to uh, meet you this weekend. Hopefully you'll see this before then. Um, but this is showing the various cook kits. Um, yeah, so let's uh, run through them and uh, see what you think. Um, this is the honey stove that um, Sandy from Jacklaw very kindly um, sent me. Um, yeah, it's a great little stove. Uh, very robust when it's together. Um, it's a bit of a faff to put together, I'll be honest with you, but it does the job really well. Um, you can either put a um, metal burner in there, or I guess you could have a, a little fire in there, um, similar to the firebox, um, which, uh, yeah, so the cup fits nicely on it, mess tins, whatever. Um, the height of this is adjustable. Down these slots here, various slots. Um, so yeah, I think it's a it's a great little stove. Um, I'd say very robust, put together, folds down into this. Um, yeah, brilliant. So that's that one. Um, next, got the standard sort of hexy uh, hexy burner, um, which again was uh, very kindly given to me by Sandy from Jackwall. And this one's got the Crusader uh, attachment, I guess you want to call it. Which obviously that would sit in there quite nicely. Great, put in the pocket, whatever, uh, in the van. Um, just to rub some water or a quick meal. So that's that one. Uh, this is my Swedish, Swedish or European cook set. Very kindly given to me by Stony Brook, um, which you can put the transier in there, folding these up. As you probably well know. I'm really sorry, guys, but I'm trying to do this one handed. Um, and that fits into there. Is like your little frying pan, I guess. Uh, and he very kindly gave me a transit type burner as well. A little homemade snuff ring. Um, so that's that. Lovely little piece of kit. Nice capacity as well. I'm not sure what the capacity is on that. Um, but yeah, nice versatile piece of kit. So thanks again, Stony, for that. Move on to my uh, my old faithful, I call it, I guess, uh, my M kettle. Um, you can have a little fire in there, or again, with a little transient type which drops in. That sits like, yeah. So we can have we can have a little fire in there, like I say, and you can feed the sticks through this hole. And that then sits on top of there, move the mess um, to boil your water. Uh, but then I had this from, I think it's from a Kelly kettle, but I had to modify it slightly, cut these wings down, just so it sit in the top of there. And then, uh, yeah, you've got like a, a dual, dual use, I guess, because it will uh, boil your water and you cook a bit of food on the top. So quite pleased with that. And it also comes with this. Again, you can put your transier in the bottom there and use that. It's better off with a bigger pan, obviously because of the size. Because of the size of it, really. But it does work quite well. So uh, quite pleased with that. Um, lastly, we move on to an yet another gift, and I was very kindly gifted this. From uh, Jedi Knight of the Woods, um, which he's made little Altoids tin. Um, and when you open it up, if I can, there we go. What we've 
got in there is like a bit of fire rape with a bit of gauze on it, which you can soak in mess. I guess you could use the uh, hexi tabs, put those onto there with these little uh, rods, put screw onto those. I think you get the idea. So they'll screw onto those. Um, again, it's not that stable, but well, saying that, it's not that bad. It's pretty good. Um, again, great little stove that you can just fold up, put in your pocket. Um, yeah, just uh, for a quick brew. Uh, that is going to stay in my van. Um, in case I ever forget any. So yeah, that's my uh, cook kits, guys. Looks a bit of a mess now. Um, sorry, guys, Forrest. Um, I hope this is okay for a VR bud. Um, like I say, well done on the subs. Love your channel, mate. Um, and I will see you this coming weekend at Funky and Roach's uh, camp out. Or indeed, I'll see you at the Bushcraft Show. Okay, mate, take it easy. All the very best to you. What well a mate. Cheers.